right? And there's our coal. And as you can see, that wasn't a whole lot of work. Alright? So you have to balance out your principles, okay? Balance them out and play with them, alright? Now I'm going to show you some kneeling torque spindles, alright? Be right back with that. Alright, so our next kneeling position spindle is a torque spindle. Now, this is a 24 inch oak dowel spindle. It is an inch and a quarter in diameter, pretty much throughout. And the hole, the base end socket hole, is half an inch. However, the reload that we have in there is 5 eighths of an inch in diameter. So that makes this actually a torque spindle, right? Because the diameter of the spindle is larger than the diameter of the reload. This is a oak spindle and if you recall um, we tried doing all those woods that we could not do for the bow drill. We did chestnut, we did swamp maple, we did sassafras, but there was one more. There was oak that we didn't get. And oak on the Jonka tests um, is more or less 1300, 1300. So here we have a reload of oak and an oak base. Okay. Now this uh, this oak base was also a oak dowel, and it was flattened, cut and flattened, to be made into a base. Okay. Now the notch faces toward you, although it's hard for you to see. And we're going to get back into our classic Shiko position up on one knee. First we're going to strain our spindle. We're going to do the moderated method of mine. Work that up toward the tip. Work that down a little bit. Okay. We use our hickory ball handle. I'm in a good solid triangular position. Now we're just going to get it warmed up. Easy strokes. You can see it's already smoking. Is the whole bow? <laughs> Go for it. And there's our oak coal. As you can see, that was much easier than the bow drill. And even though we have some black striations, it's a coal, it's lit up. So let it grow, let it glow. go. 
oak on oak. All right. And on to our next one. All right. So our next one is again 24 inches tall for a kneeling height. Okay. Now the base end down here measures to be a diameter of about an inch and a half. Okay. Now what this was was what's left over of that ash um, tool handle that we got at the hardware store. Now the top part of this was made into uh, an Egyptian drill um, spindle and this is one of the lower portions of the, the tool handle for uh, like shovels or uh, a hole digging tool, things like that. Now the uh, the base and socket hole down here is half an inch. However, the reload is again five eighths of an inch. So here we have about an inch and a half compared to five eighths of an inch in diameter difference. Okay, so this is obviously a, a pretty good torque spindle. All right, and. Uh, we're going to try and do something interesting. The reload is dun, 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 Osage Orange, which I believe on the Jonka test is approximately 2400, 2400. And we have a base of Osage Orange as well. So Osage Orange on Osage Orange. The reload again is 5 eighths of an inch in diameter, okay? It's mated, has a notch in it, all right? We're going to get back in our Chico position. We're going to wind that up. Work it down a little bit. Okay. Again, we're going to use our pine banister pressure arm brace. All right. I'm going to put my shoe under my knee. I'm on a slate floor, which doesn't feel very good. Always protect your body. So whatever it is that you're doing. Okay, let's roll up my sleeve again. I'm gonna work that down a little bit. The bow's not at the height that I really comfortable at. Wider, a little straighter. Warm that up. Use the whole bow. A little bit of speed. Again, we have to make it up with speed because of the diameter difference. See how we did. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you get a coal with Osage Orange. Reload and spindle. Uh, reload and base, excuse me.
All right. There you go. All right, so we'll do some standing ones. And uh, keep moving. All right, let's go.